let's take you through how to modify your user profile, company profile, subscriptions, security settings, and how to adjust app settings in VPOP. First, your user profile. You can upload your profile picture, which will be visible if you share and refer cases with other VPOP users. Simply click Choose File, select an image, adjust as needed, and click Save. On the profile page, you will also find your VPOP inbox address, which can be used for receiving cases by email. Note, this is not the same as case sharing and referral, which is explained in detail in another video. Now to the company profile page. Here, you can add your company logo and details. Some of these details will be visible to users you share and refer cases to, as well as available in the reports. You can also add optional referral terms and conditions. If you refer a case to a surgeon, for example, they will have to accept your terms as well as you accepting theirs if they have some. Now to the subscription page. Here you can upgrade or downgrade your subscription at any time. Any changes made here will be reflected in your next bill. Next, let's go to the security settings. Here you will find your VPOP username, which can be changed by contacting support. You can create a passkey or revoke any existing passkeys. You can also change your password. Just follow the instructions that are sent to your email. Now for app settings. We have made some exciting additions here. We now have a dark mode and the ability to adjust the sizes of the text in the user interface. Lastly are the settings for notifications. Feel free to adjust to suit your needs. If you are referring cases or a surgeon working on a referred case, we recommend you keep them enabled to stay updated on any shared cases. That's it. Now you're ready to start customizing your settings in VPOP. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more how-to and deep dive planning videos. For further information or to contact support, visit vpoppro.com.